Hey, what's up guys? It's Jesse here with Southern Reels and it's another beautiful morning on the Eastern Shore. And we are seriously going to get out here and try to catch some flounder today. I'm going to put a big effort in for them. It's that time of year. They should be here. Of course, if that doesn't pan out, then we'll go out and try for something different. Fishing with my main man Yogi again today. It's an east wind today, which is sometimes bad. It's slow enough. I don't think it's going to cause an issue. Other than that, it's Memorial Day weekend. Start of summer. So, and yesterday it felt like it because it was warm. Anyway, wish us luck. See what we can do. Hopefully we can get some flatties in the boat. All right, folks, here we are putting a big effort in, like I said, for flounder today. Me rocking a heavier, probably ounce and a half. Kind of get it down a little bit quicker. And I'll probably be doing some light power. The wind's coming in this way, but the tide is going out. So I don't have to kind of keep the nose into the wind with the trolling motor. And probably do some power drifts, basically use the trolling motor to kind of match the speed and try to drift by these piling sets. And see if maybe that'll work for catching something. This is honestly way easier in a kayak and I probably will make a few trips out here in my kayak just for that reason on pretty days but since I have the boat it is possible to do it like this. I can keep us lined right up. Thought I had a flounder on there for a second that's why I lost concentration on the motor. I felt that weight. I was like that feels like something done grabbed it already. All right folks this is going to be a little different than the kayak for sure. It's like five minutes of setup time for one minute of jigging. So far, just some small ones and some crabs. Well, folks, we pretty much worked our way from about mid span of the bridge this way, and jigging the whole way, caught crabs, a couple short flounder. My biggest fear is that east wind coming across this huge flat out here has just got the mud and grass and silt stirred up. I knew the direction of the wind when I came, but I was hoping that the wind would uh, not be bad enough that it caused all of this, but it still is. As the sun gets up higher, I can see the water is muddy. So we're going to try a little bit longer just because we're here. Maybe hit that other side, but it's kind of crowded down there, honestly. Everybody's on that point. Go drag this boat right through the middle of all of them. <laughs> Finally. That's what you talking about right there. Ice 20 enter to start the day. That's what I want, folks. Alright, folks, I don't keep this guy. I'm gonna put the gills there and bleed them out. Oh, yeah, these suck for flounder right here. All right, finally pulled one off of this little point here. God, it was good to feel that fight. I haven't felt one of that in a while. It's amazing, just that little bit clearer water. That's well, yeah. all it takes. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Going off. Oh yeah, that's another nice one. Maddie? Nope. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, 19 and a half. Not too bad. Not a beauty. All right, what I'm doing is snipping the gills on these guys since I'm keeping them. Leads them out, kills the fish. Makes them better for the table. It's actually more humane. That's something, man. A uh, little guy. Alright y'all, we fished this little bridge for a couple hours this morning, got a couple nice keepers. I'm gonna fire this thing up and head on out to the high rise and explore some new territory, so 
I don't know, see what we can get into. Hopefully the island is blocking some of the wind out there. That would be nice. Even though it does seem a little less at the moment. Uh, I don't know, that's what's up. All right, another spot out here on the bridge. A little bit rougher today than I ideally hoped for, but it is what it is. There's a tall tog, look. There's a tall tog swimming around that pile and eating. Ah, oh, that was a flounder. That's a what? It was a flounder. Yeah. This pilot right here in the center. Yeah. There's a tall tog swimming around the top of it eating. I've seen them do two laps around it already. I mean, they're out of season now, but still, that's pretty, pretty cool. You can catch them, just can't keep them, like I said. So? It don't seem it doesn't have that feel of a flounder. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, no, that's a flounder. Ready? Heck yeah. Woo! Man. They are out here. What do you oh, know? Shit. Hey, this right. That's what I want, folks. Damn it, that board roof. Oh. Sure. There we go, folks. He is roughly 20 and a half, 20 inches. Damn, that's a slab right there. Woo! Basically just out here jigging structure around the pylons of the bridge, up and down. I saw that, it was a bite, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that current's really starting to come in now. It's changed a lot in the past 10 minutes. I mean, it's like scoping me right out. Let's see if I can find some calmer water here. Oh, hey, whoa. Probably not a keeper. Yeah, I don't know, man. Just grab him, you can just pull him right in. Yep. Heck yeah. Woohoo, first flounder, right? Yep. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Look like a keeper. Is it 14? 16 and a half. Oh yeah, no way. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. That's like there's nothing, nothing there, and all of a sudden, wait. That was you. I think I caught the same one. Another one. All right, hey guys, we made a run to Kip the Peak Park. Um, honestly, the wind out there by the high rise just was annoying after a while and the waves just kept getting bigger and we couldn't really fish any of the closer pilots. Well, we could have, but we weren't catching anything on them. So uh, we made a run to Kip the Peak here. I want to fish it for a while, kind of jig for some flounder, drag some, you know, bottom rigs with some crab and stuff on it, just to see if maybe there's some drum hanging around here or maybe some big sheephead. Uh, just kind of hide behind these ships to get out of the wind for the rest of the day. So that's what's up. Ooh, well, we made it to the end of the first row of ships. We got what? Some nice keeper crabs. <laughs> but I don't even think we can keep, honestly. I don't know if we can keep them or not. Yep, another one. One, two, three, let go of my belt. Well, y'all, Kip to Pete was a bus, so we ran back to the little bridge here. I want to try it for a few minutes. As you see, it's pretty wind blown, muddy. That easterly wind is just kicking it today. So, hit a few of these pylons in the clear bands that I can kind of see. If you look, you'll see muddy and then clear bands. Kind of find as clear water as you can, drop it in try it and if we get nothing then we just gonna call it and go home so all right folks we're just calling it man even up in this creek is so muddy it's not really worth even trying you ain't gonna catch any flounder really in conditions like this so uh but at least i did get it three nice keepers in the boat anyway that's it see you next time peace <laughs>